Hey everybody and welcome to our kitchen here in our home in South Florida. Mm -hmm. And what are we doing today Juan Carlos? What's happening? Today we are doing a traditional Costa Rican dish. And what's it called? Chifrijo. Chifrijo. Yes. And uh, one of the reasons we're doing this dish is because in Costa Rica this is a very traditional dish. And the last time we did my comfort dish which was the New England boiled dinner. We'll put a link up here. So what makes Chifrijo special in Costa Rica? Well, first, today is a holiday in Costa Rica, remember? It is. Today is uh, July 25th. Uh, we celebrate the annexation. 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 Yeah. Of Guanacaste, and, um, which is one of the, the uh, provinces in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we kind of decided to yeah. make this dish. And Guanacaste, just so you know, is a northern province in Costa Rica, right below um, Nicaragua, correct? Yeah. So, back in the 1800s, it became part of Costa Rica, so that's why today is a celebration. And we've got the Costa Rican flag. If you've never seen it, here it is. <laughs> and um, so, Chifrijo, go back to the dish. You've been eating it pretty much your whole life? For many years. Yeah. And what do you like about it? Why is it why is it special to you? I don't know. It's uh, it's got a lot of the traditional flavors of my country. Correct. You know, you know the base rice and beans. Yeah, that's very Costa Rican. And then all the other ingredients are again very very like they have that homecoming feel. Right. And that's one of the things that makes us happy is comfort food. Yeah. So we thought we would share with all of you today a little bit of our, or his, Costa Rican tradition. Wow. And because it's raining outside, you might have heard that thunder. So that's why we're doing today's dish to bring a little bit of Costa Rica to all of you. Plus, I did a search for this on YouTube uh, and looking for the recipe. And there's tons of chifrijo recipes but every single one of them is in Spanish. So for all of you English speaking folks out there that want to make this dish, we're going to make it a little easy for you and tell you how to make it because we couldn't find it in English online. So that's kind of cool, right? Yeah. So let's go through the ingredients. What's the main ingredient in Chifrijo, Juan Carlos? Well, the main, it's, there are three. Mm -hmm. uh, the rice, beans, the pork, yeah. oh, those There's are the three main ingredients. So we have our rice. We're choosing to make it with brown rice, but traditionally they use white rice. Which doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter too much, but we're doing it with brown because it's a little healthier. Um, here in the USA, we you, we call these red beans or red red frijoles. Or uh, So we are soaking them. We're making fresh homemade beans. So these were dried. We're soaking them, and we're going to cook them in a pressure cooker. Yeah. Just as a reference, in Costa Rica, uh, the name of these red beans, which are a little bigger, they are called cubases. Cubases? Yeah. Okay. So if you go to a restaurant in Costa Rica and you see cubases, that's what it means, red, the red big bean. Perfect. Appreciate that. And then we're using um, pork, uh, which is basically, these are uh, pork chops that I was able to get at the local supermarket. These are no bone because we're going to dice these up. So those are the three main ingredients. Once again, the red beans, the pork, and the rice, and then all of the other ingredients on top of that. What else do we have? This is important. Tell them about this. So this is a very traditional uh, sauce in our country. We call it Salsa Lisano. Lisano is actually the name of the company. Yeah, it's, it's the a, brand. It's a <laughs> surname of a family in Costa Rica. Okay. But we kind of took the name of the company and made it the name of the sauce. And it's made with vegetables and spices. Vegetables and spices. Yes. And it's very, very good. This is served with pretty much, you'll see this in every restaurant, on um, every table in people's homes in Costa Rica. Uh, and the nice thing is you can get this in the United States too. Actually, we, we have public supermarket and they sell it at our Publix. Uh, if you don't find it there, you can find it online. You can go on Amazon and just look up Lizano and you can purchase it there. Or go to Costa Rica and pick one up. Oh yeah, try to Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah, I used to bring those here um, a few years ago because right. we didn't have them here. Yeah. But now we have them. Now we have them. So, and then the other items that we use for cooking this are, uh, we're going to be using ajo or garlic. Uh, so we like to use minced garlic. 
uh, which is going to go in the rice. We're going to pre-cook the rice in a rice cooker. And beans. And also in the beans. Um, and then this is peppers uh, that we bought pre-cut, but you can buy red, yellow, green peppers. Bell pepper. Bell pepper, uh, chopped up. But the nice thing is, is our grocery store, you can buy them pre-cut up, so that makes it a little easier. Obviously, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Uh, we're gonna uh, let me. Yeah. I use olive oil in the rice. You do. And let me explain you why. Um, when you when you cook the rice, the rice. If you don't use it, then the rice is going to absorb all the water, and it's going to just get like sticky. Yeah. Sticky, yeah. and it's fine for some kind of recipes if you want sticky rice. But in Costa Rica, we prefer the rice a little bit more. Um, drier, right? Not dry, like in hard, but not not that sticky. Not sticky. So that's why I use um, this. So the rice is going to absorb some of the of the oil, and it won't absorb all the water. Right. Yeah. Uh, which is great. Uh, we're going to also have tom tomatoes. You can use whole tomatoes. We're using baby tomatoes. Uh, we'll show that a little bit later as we prepare the dish after it's been cooked. Um, celery. We're using. Uh, Onion, uh, Spanish onion, yellow onion, uh, limes, or as they call it in Costa Rica, limones. Limones. And interestingly enough, I'll share with you, in Costa Rica, we call these limes in the U.S. because they're green, and then the yellow ones we call lemons. They don't differentiate in Costa Rica, so limones is the same whether it's green or yellow, just FYI. And then we're also using fresh cilantro uh, that we purchased that we're going to chop up, and then real important avocado or as it's called aguacate. Uh, we've got two of those that are already ripe and fresh to go. So these are the main ingredients and now we're going to go ahead and start cooking and preparing everything. We'll take you through the journey with us as we cook up uh, and then at the end we'll share with you. We hope you guys enjoy watching this video and we'll put the words to the recipe and also down below um, we'll put the recipe and all the ingredients for everybody to follow. Yeah. Yes. What else should we say? Anything? So um, we're going to use the uh, tomatoes, the onion, and the lemon to make pico de gallo, to put yeah. on top of the chicken. Yeah. So we're going to mix those together. And also we'll probably put in a little fresh cilantro too. Oh, yes. That's for true. seasoning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's true. For pico de gallo, um, which is really, really yummy. And then one ingredient we're not showing you here uh, that we'll show at the end are you serve this in a, in a dish, in a bowl, with... Um, Tortilla chips. Yep. So you get that nice crunch. So it's a, it's almost like a dip, but it's also a meal. You can eat it as a oh, meal. Yeah. You can eat it as a snack. You can. It's very satisfying. Yeah. And so it's really really yummy. So we're gonna start cooking. So I've got the pork here now on the cutting board, and um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pre-cut it. I'm gonna dice it up just into some small squares, and then we're gonna put that in the pan basically with just salt and pepper and olive oil and we're going to use that a little bit of salsa lisano for seasoning and um, cook that up and then we'll put that to the side later. Alright, we got the pork in the pan and we're going to do a little seasoning of it now. We're going to use some fresh ground pepper from the pepper mill. You know, one of the things I'll share too about this dish is uh, one of the first times that I um, met Juan Carlos's family and we went to Costa Rica, or when I went down, um, this was one of the dishes that his family prepared and I got to eat, which is super, super good. Um, and then one of the first times I also went to a, um, what's called a soda in Costa Rica. And a soda is um, much like we would call a diner here. Basically a soda, there's lots of them throughout Costa Rica and they're little pop-up, little mom and pop, few tables. Uh, and it, they serve all the traditional dishes at the sodas. And we also had it there. So, but now we're making it here in our kitchen in Florida, and hopefully you all will enjoy learning this recipe. So we are now going to make the rice. And I prefer the rice the way my mom um, taught me to do it. Her special recipe. And I'm going to first just wash the rice. Now the rice has been washed, and we're going to use our rice cooker. We didn't have a rice cooker here before, but since I've been coming here more often and rice is very important for us now, we have one. How do you know how much water to put in a rice cooker? 
There's a little secret. What's the secret? <laughs> well, my sister actually told me that to measure the water, I'll put enough to cover the uh, rice and then use my finger and like go like this high. Just to like your first knuckle? Yeah. There you go, you heard the secret folks. First knuckle, then you know you got enough water. Well, of course it depends on whose knuckles, <laughs> right? <laughs> Right, right. So now we're going to season the, the rice and we, we're going to use um, salt. You can use any salt, that doesn't matter. I'm going to use the Himalayan just because. And a little hint is that I, I like to put the, the salt first before anything else because we, I want to, you know, you want to taste the rice to make sure that it's not too salty or too... Um, plain mm -hmm. and if you already mix anything anything else in it especially if you already mix the uh, oil you probably don't want to taste it so I put this out first and I'll taste it make sure it's, it's fine then I'll start adding the other things so it's I cannot tell you use this amount of salt because it's actually according to whatever you want to use I mean if you want more more salty use more salt if not then just use a little it depends on you Let's go to give it a try. How's that taste? I think, yeah. It's good. It's salty enough. I usually go through my mind, like the, the ingredients that my mom used to ask me to put. So, salt, then oil, aceite. You want to put enough, so again, the, the rice is going to absorb it and not get too sticky mm -hmm. for the water. Now the bell peppers. Again, this is just as much as you want. I like it, but I don't, I don't want a lot. I think that's enough for three, for three cups, just to season it. You just want to put a little bit. If you, if you don't want to use uh, um, the dice, um, I prefer to use like a fresh one. It's like around, like about one, you call one head? Clove. One clove. Okay. We said una cabeza de ajo. <laughs> so yeah, one one head of garlic or one clove of garlic. Yeah. But we're using the diced. Yeah. And I think the dice is a little bit more um, strong, so I, I don't use quite too much. Yeah. And then we're also gonna chop up some celery and a little bit of onion and we're gonna put that in there. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna cook that. And typically the rice takes for how long? I put the, the um, uh, rice cooker on the brown rice setting. Yeah. It, uh, it also has a, um, white, rice. a white rice setting. The, the brown rice, it's like one hour, I think. Yeah. Yeah, wow. roughly. And the white rice, like 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So there we go. You can also just make the rice in a regular pot with, you know, just water and, and make it boil and stir and takes about the same time. It is just more more work yeah. so we use the, the rice cooker yeah now the rice is ready to start cooking it's got the rice water salt oil bell peppers celery garlic. onions and garlic there we go yeah right that's, into the rice cooker yeah that's my mom's recipe and probably every mom in Costa Rica anyway pork is cooking up nicely it's almost done. We're going to crisp it up a little bit now. All right, we're, we're ready to start cooking the kielbasa or kidney beans. And um, as an alternative, you don't want to make them from scratch. You, you can only be, oh. always use the uh, canned ones, right? You can buy those right in your grocery store. Yeah, yeah. and Goya is, I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. So, all right, these have been already washed and soaked. So you want to them. wash and soak your beans. Yeah, if you can soak them like overnight, it's better. But these are just right. And make sure to put a lot of water. Uh, by the way, this is a um, pressure cooker. So you can make the frijoles in, uh, in a regular crock pot, but it's going to take like about four, four hours or so. 
Um, so I recommend to have this if you want to prepare frijoles in, you know, uh, more often. And it's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes to be ready. Perfect. A lot faster. A little more yes. fresh water. Or you always want more. So now the seasoning. Uh, we're going to use cilantro and onions. So we used a food mixer, food chopper, mm -hmm. chopped up the cilantro and onions together. But you can do it by hand. Mm -hmm. Then same. Salt. More peppers. More bell peppers. Give it that little kick. And by the way, the salsa lisano is not spicy. It's no. a it's a very mild but great flavored sauce. Yeah, in Costa Rica we don't really eat a lot of spicy food. Yeah, we like true. it, but we don't need it a lot. Same with the garlic, not a lot, just enough to season it. And there you go. He's putting in the pepper, and we're almost done with that. And then we'll put the lid on it, and I think you said roughly about 30 to 40 minutes? Not so many. Yeah. You know basically when the steam starts coming out of the top of the pressure cooker, right? Yeah, it's and it starts whistling. Yeah. It'll whistle, so then we know. So the uh, pressure cooker is already whistling. It means that it's boiling the water, and so now I can lower the temperature. And it sh I can wait for like about 20 more minutes to can so I can be able to open the thing and see if they are actually ready, which we surely will, and we can start eating. All right, so I'm dicing up the uh, onion and putting fresh cilantro. We use a little uh, machine to kind of help us, but you can also do it by hand. This makes it just a little easier. And I don't want to make a beat too fine, so I just go a little bit at a time. Really good pico de gallo. Show me. And there you go, folks. We're going to mix that with our tomatoes, add a little lime juice. Mm, 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 yummy. All right, so continuing on with the pico de gallo, I've got fresh diced up tomatoes, and I've got my cilantro and onion mix that we just did. So I'm gonna add this in here like so. And then we're gonna take some fresh lime and squeeze lime juice right on top. Yummy, yummy, yummy. A lot. Lots of lime. Lots and lots of <laughs> lime. Because we're using two whole limes for this recipe. Or, as we say in Costa Rica, limón, but not the yellow kind. And we'll just kind of stir this together. Need a little, a little bit of salt. And we're going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And we've been using Himalayan salt lately, just because it's something that we like. And it's pretty because it's pink. <laughs> just, so a little bit of salt. Little bit of pepper, not too much. Yeah. And we're gonna keep mixing. We're gonna add in a little bit more of our cilantro and tomato. And folks, this turns out just beautiful. And you can make this just as your own dish. You know, this by itself is great with chips and salsa. So. Mm -hmm. Just make a pico de gallo, it's great as a little side dish, especially in the summertime. It's perfect, I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mm. But that's it folks for the sauce for that part of it. Now we're gonna finish letting everything cook and then we're gonna show you how you put the whole entire dish together. And it turns out fantastic. By the way, I don't know if we pointed out but we've been wearing our hard rock shirts. We just happened to both put on our hard rock shirts this morning and they happen to be full of pride so we're very prideful today as well. <laughs> so pride is not just in June. All right, so the beans are ready or should be ready. Um, 
little tip when you use this uh, you want to lift this and make sure that there's not a lot of steam coming out because if there's a still a, a lot of steam uh, it might be a little dangerous if you try to open it yeah so just a tip you press it move it and there you go Smell. Smell good? Yeah, I can smell it's it over here. Good. I smell it behind the camera. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's see. If they are they are still a little hard, then we can just leave it for a few more minutes. I'll, I'll be fine. All right. Mm, mm. Mm, look at that steam. Wow, you can smell it too. Good. That's some happiness when you smell that. Mm -mm. You see how it's not all sticky? Yep. It's a lot more. And that's because we put nice. olive oil. See? You can use other oil too. If you don't like yeah. olive oil, you can use you know vegetable oil or yeah any type of oil that you like. So our rice is done, and all we have left to do is prepare the dish, right? Yeah. Well, Insane. and the most important thing, eat it. Eat it. <laughs> because eating it is what makes us happy. <laughs> One of the many things that makes us happy is eating. How's that rice taste? I taste it. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I love a rice cooker, by the way. If you don't have one, highly recommend you get one. It makes life so much easier. It's really good. It is very good. This has got the exact amount of salt, right? Well, that's because your mother taught you well. Mama Digna, if you're watching, hola. Hola, mama. <laughs> well, guess what, everyone? We are finally done cooking. Um, this dish, to prepare it from scratch like we did, took mm -hmm. us a couple hours. It's definitely not a, a quick meal um, to put together, but you can make it quicker if you, you don't make, you know, fresh frijoles and maybe you do boil in a bag rice or, you know, whatever. You can, you can find shortcuts. Mm -hmm. We chose to go the traditional route because that's the way his family has made it his whole life in Costa Rica. Yeah. So now Juan Carlos is going to take us through how you put it all together. Um, I'll tell you real quick, in here, these are the beans, all cooked. This is the pork. It's got a nice little crisp on it. Our rice, which we showed you, oh, so good. Mm -hmm. And we got our pico de gallo, fresh cut uh, avocado, and we've got some more lime, and of course our chips. chips. And the secret ingredient, salsa de salmon. So Juan Carlos, take it away. How do we put this all together? Right, so it's pretty easy. You put the base, which is rice. So rice is the base, yummy. Mm -hmm. You put it as much as you want. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a lot of rice. Mm -hmm. that's fine. And then frijoles, uvas, well, red Same. bean, yep. as much as you want. So we got the red beans on top of the rice. Yeah, I like. A lot of these cubas. Like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now if you want to spice it up, you can put a little bit of this, which I will do. A little bit of the salsa lezano. There you have it. Not a lot, just a little just bit. Just a little for flavor. Yeah. And then pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. And that's our homemade pico de gallo, everyone, that we showed you how we made it. Yummy, yummy. Okay, that's closer. enough for me. There you go. And then pork. Easy peasy. Protein for the day. Protein, yeah. Oops. We got all that. This is all a layered dish, as you can see, folks. Mm -hmm. Coming over your shoulder, look at all that yumminess. Mm -hmm. And now, now you're gonna add the avocado, aguacate, some sliced avocado on top. Sweet mm -hmm. lime. And we got some lime juice going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we are now sitting down and about ready to dig into our chifrijo and uh, the fruits of our labor, so to speak. Yes. <laughs> but uh, again, this is one of the many things that make us happy. Um, we love to cook at home. Yeah. We don't get to do it as often as we wish we could, but so I'm going to dig in. There's so many layers, so ideally you get... Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. How's it tasting? Turn out really good. Got to put it all on your. Let me get a little avocado on there. There you go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so good. The lemon, guys. The lemon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody, this dish is fantastic. Um, and it's something that we don't make here, obviously, in the United States. It's a pretty much a delicacy treat from Costa Rica. So we're bringing a little Costa Rica to you all. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and go and enjoy our meal, though, right? But um, if you like this video, do us a favor, share it, share it with your friends. And it really helps us too if you hit that like button down below, it helps us with growing the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we certainly encourage you to do that, right? Yep. Um, but as we always say, happiness is a lifestyle, everyone. Something else. Oh if yeah. If you get to prepare this, please share with us a photo or something on social yeah. media. Uh, follow us on, on Instagram and Twitter. Yep. Um, so yeah, just snap a photo and tag us on that on that photo so we, we will see your results. We would our, love that. Yeah, our account is uh, Geo and JC. It's that simple. Yeah, Geo and JC. Simple, simple. Find it, share follow it, us, share it, follow us, all that good stuff. And uh, again, as always, thank you so much for watching. We really, really, really appreciate it. Bye, everyone. Bye.